Avenue in uh, DPS tells us that this will continue to be the scene for quite some time while they investigate. So once again, that trooper, he is in serious but stable condition. Matthew. So relieved to hear that he was conscious and alert for transport. That is such a dangerous job. No doubt about that. Thanks. We do know the officer was taken to Banner University Medical Center in Phoenix, which used to be good Sam. Yes, and that's where we find Javier with uh, that perspective. Javier, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you guys. And yeah, I think we all breathing a sigh of relief this morning after hearing that that officer is expected to recover in a serious condition here. He's transported here to Good Sam, and that's an area around the back of the hospital where uh, they go up an emergency ramp. So initially it was hard to see uh, if there was any activity. However, I did walk up there. There were several officers, both Phoenix and Department of Public Safety officers. They were awaiting the news that he shortly learned uh, just for a while ago. Uh, uh, right. One Here officer, he said at the time that he didn't have any updated information, but, but again, yeah. they were waiting to hear that good news. Now, since we've seen a lot of uh, police activity, a lot of fire uh, trucks pulling out of here as well, so a lot of people were standing by waiting to hear that good news. Of course, if we get any up updated news from here at Good Sam, we will pass that along. Well, we are still seeing the effects with regards to traffic. And, you know, Jamie was live on the freeway there. And here is just another perspective from an ADOT camera. Uh, that is I-10 westbound. And what is front to you uh, that our uh, morning rush hour flows in on the eastbound side. But if you need to head to the West Valley, this is the congestion and traffic you will deal with as you lose the right three lanes here on I-10 right there at 43rd Avenue. So let's map some things out for you. Again, it is I-10 westbound at 43rd Avenue where you lose those three right lanes. We are looking at slowing uh, back to about 27th Avenue now. You know, you might want to consider an alternate with regards to a local street, McDowell, uh, Thomas, Indian School, Van Buren, or Buckeye. If you get back on the freeway at 51st Avenue or further west, that will get you past the accident scene. Although with only about a mile and a half backup, you might want to just give yourself an extra 10 minutes. Now, on on the westbound side, you would think mm, this might cause a curiosity factor, but it looks like even with that crash, there were just about a uh, done with the morning rush hour, 75th Avenue into downtown. You're looking at a 16 minute drive time coming out of the West Valley. Gina, thank you. Uh, this is something a lot of people are talking about. The makers of those popular lip balms, the little round balls, mm -hmm. is under fire. Yeah, this woman claims he gave her rashes and blisters all over her mouth. Mm. The uh, smooth egg-shaped product costs less than three bucks, and it's become quite the cult favorite among beauty bloggers and teen life. While the brand has a whopping 1.3 million followers on Instagram, EOS promises beautiful, visibly softer lips. However, several women claim they have suffered blisters, rashes, and allergic reactions. And these pictures, not very pretty. That doesn't look like a commercial at all. Oh, sure does. Ah, the women behind the could say their lips felt like sandpaper shortly after doing the product. When she reapplied the lip balm to soothe those lips, they began to crack, flake, and bleed. She says the next day she had blisters and rashes all around her mouth. Yeah, that doesn't look like a herpes outbreak, does it? That, I mean, that many? I, I would have to ask the doctor. Uh, the I doctor, the doctor is shaking his head? No. Yeah. I don't know what that looks like. We no, just you play doctors me. on TV. I don't know. <laughs> uh, her lawyer is seeking damages and asking the company sure, to report the general health concerns. EOS says a lawsuit is without merit. All right, a police officer is among the victims of a terror attack in Jakarta, Indonesia. This will say seven people were killed after suicide bombers. Three of them stormed a local Starbucks of all places. Three other explosions occurred in different parts of the town. A gun battle between police and two other attackers took place near the police station and lasted for more than two hours. Two Republican presidential candidates are outraged after 10 U.S. sailors were captured by Iranian authorities. Marco Rubio and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie spoke about the incident while campaigning, calling the temporary detention outrageous and disrespectful. In a video released by Iran Media, media one of the sailors apologized for the U.S. boat traveling into their water. An investigation into how the boat ended up there is still under investigation, but U.S. officials say Iran is not at fault. The U.S. boats did drift into Iranian territory. From a military perspective, what you mean is it completely appropriate. Had the situation been reversed, we would have done exactly the same thing. 
and we don't know whether the sailor made the statement voluntarily or under duress. TV ratings are in for President Obama's last State of the Union. The Nielsen Company says more than 31 million people tuned in, and that's his smallest audience for the annual speech. But he's not alone. The least watched State of the Union speech by Presidents George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, also their last speeches. Hillary Clinton's edge over Bernie Sanders has shrunk to just two percentage points in Iowa. That's according to the latest Bloomberg Des Moines Register poll released on Thursday. Uh, Clinton topped Sanders 42 to 40 percent. Ex Maryland Governor Mark O'Malley was at just 4 percent. The poll included 503 likely Democratic caucus goers and has a margin of error of plus or minus 4.4 percentage points. Thank you, Scott. Surviving while you're sick. Uh, and things have been going around and around and around around here. Uh, somebody added that you need to keep stocking your house all the time in case you have to fight the flip. Well, there's a new arcade bar in downtown Phoenix where you can play some of the newest, some of the most oldest, I should say, coolest, old school games around. How about how about I think to do it? The high cost of health care continues to affect everyone's budget, but there's something you can do to help you make it easier when it comes to finances. To practice that can benefit both your health and your bottom line. Tonight at 9 on PTV. Good Morning Arizona is brought to you by your Valley Hyundai dealer. See an unforgettable night come to life. See winning that lifts expectations to a whole new level. More of the biggest celebrations at the only real casino in the West Valley. Play by Bye Bye Bills, Mondays and Fridays in January, and win a share of $450,000. We want to pay your bills for a year. See yourself in the middle of it all, and we'll see you. See you at BQ. The market for fine oriental rugs has crashed. Once our proudest asset, the $30 million of hand knotted rugs at the dump are now our biggest liability. This forces us to take decisive action now. At 10 a.m. Friday, the dump will mark down and sell off all our rugs at a multi million dollar loss for our company. Prices that bear no resemblance to their intrinsic value or quality. For one weekend, the dump's entire rug store goes on the block at prices no one will ever see again. We make it easy. Get a new ride. Make it easy. Be a crook in no time. Make it easy. Follow the spot. We make it easy. Auto action. Easy job. You're great for the better at auto action. 699 and a job. We'll get you a crew in no time. With locations valley wide and 500 vehicles in stock. Follow the smile and get a crew in auto action. Easy. Safety issues are my prime issues in delivering any type of procedure, making it easier for the patients so that they don't undergo a general anesthetic. They don't go into a deep sleep. We use a local anesthetic to numb the area, and then we also use some sedation. And by doing this, we have created not only a much easier post-operative recovery period in terms of pain, but we have created a safer situation for the patient. Weekday mornings on 3TV, watch your life A to Z at 10 a.m. The Meredith the Era Show at 11. Everybody loves Raymond at 12 and 12.30. And the doctors in one. Thanks for watching 3TV. Caleb.